We can't add images directly to the stage, so before displaying an image we need to go through a couple of steps first. The first step is load the image using the assets package, I'll cover this in detail in a later video. The loading process ends with the image being transformed into a texture object. The second step is create a sprite object using that texture, then add it to the stage. So, first things first, we need to create a folder named exactly public, in which we'll store all of our application assets. Within this folder we can organize the files into subfolders, with each one dedicated to a specific type of file. Next we need to import the assets and sprite classes. To load the image we'll use the load method, and as you can see I used the await keyword, since loading is an asynchronous operation. Now we'll create a sprite using the static method from, then add it to the stage. Another way to create a sprite is by instantiating the sprite class using the new keyword.